What's going on, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing some uh, S2000 fuel rail modifications today. Uh, we have that radium engineering fuel rail right there, and we're gonna be putting the fuel pressure regulator in place of the stock one, so we can bump up the fuel pressure up to 50, 55. I'll try 55. See what it does on the dyno. Um, then we're gonna, we're gonna be putting, like I said, we're gonna be putting the regulator right here in place of the stock one, and right here we're gonna take this plug out, <coughs> and we're gonna be putting in this uh, gauge that I have here for a really long time. I bought this in the beginning, just never used it because I never had the fitting. I wanted to put it right here, but then that didn't really work out, so I just kind of had it in my uh, little compartment banging around for a long time so finally I get to put it on get the fitting to go with that right here and I think that's it uh, we're not gonna be putting the hoses on yet just yet because I have to go underneath the car and it's kind of late I had to work tomorrow and stuff so yeah I guess that's uh let's go ahead and put this stuff on and see how it turns out Alright you guys, let's go ahead and start by removing some of these crankcase lines to get them out of the way so we can get some more access to this fuel rail. Okay, now that we got those lines out of the way, let's go ahead and get this fuel pressure regulator off of here so we can replace it with the new AEM fuel pressure regulator. see if it kind of fuel go, comes out of here. I haven't bled the system, but I haven't driven the car in a while either, so I don't know what's going to come out of here. Hopefully nothing. A little bit. Got some pressure on it. Well, we didn't make too much of a mess, but oh well. All right, let's go ahead and get this off here. Which one looks better? Yeah, I think this one does. All right, now we're gonna take this plug off and we're gonna replace it with that radium adapter. I don't remember what size it was, but whatever size AN fitting goes to the eighth inch pipe fitting. Here's our new adapter, nice and green, radium green, whatever you call it. Let's go ahead and screw it on here now. Guys, uh, it's time to put this gauge on. So let's go ahead and put some uh, Teflon tape on it, or Teflon se thread sealant rather, and let's see if the screws on there. I don't know if I have to move this, but we'll see. Yeah, 
I'm gonna have to move this. So let's go ahead and take that off. How's that? Is that straight? I guess it'll work. Alright you guys, uh, it's time to put this regulator on. There it is. Alright guys, so we got that bolted on. Um, we're going to have to trim this backing line to the regulator to fit. And then we're going to put this return line on. Um, and then I think we're done. But I'm going to go ahead and put some WD-40 on this little fitting here. It's a little a little dry, I'm sure that hose will be hard to cut on. So, um, I got some WD 40 here, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a tiny little spray on here. Well, that wasn't very tiny, but I think that should be good. So, let's go ahead and try to put this on here and let's see what happens. Alright, put that line on there, so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and put this clamp on Can't spray just a little bit of WD-40 over. All right, I think that's it. Straighten the clamp out a little bit. Make it look halfway decent. Okay. earlier we're gonna have to kind of trim it. Yeah, a little too long so I'm gonna go ahead and get some pliers <laughs> or some cutters. These will work. All right, I'm gonna have to set this down here somewhere. Okay, oh uh, let's see. I don't want to trim too much. We'll start right about here, I guess. I'll turn it back on that one. And is this even gonna fit? Won't make it fit. Yeah, there it goes. It might hit the hood, I don't know. I hope not. I'm not worried about the regular thing, but the hose. Yeah, I don't want that to rub the, the hood. I'm rubbing a little bit on my intake here. And I've already trimmed. And I gotta trim some more. It's aluminum. But I'll get to one of these days. But uh anyway. I think we're I think we're about done with all this. Need to put these lines, crankcase ventilation lines back on, and then we'll tighten up the hose hose clamps. And 
then I think we can consider this part of the series done. Yeah. Well, what do you think? That was kind of easy. All right, guys. Uh, that's gonna conclude this video. Uh, make sure you leave a comment, subscribe for more. Uh, yeah, and then uh, we'll be working on this this Civic here soon. I had to replace the motor mount inserts, uh, their Hasport inserts. Need to replace those. They're kind of worn out a little bit, but anyway. All in good time, just uh, subscribe and then we'll see some more stuff about this, about these two cars and maybe a couple of friends' cars, we'll make some videos. Yeah, alright guys. Somewhere in this area, right here, I'm gonna have to drill to the side. I don't want to do that, but you know, I can't really think of anything else. Little flex sensor, then coming out of there, going back up there to the fuel rail, and then I think that's probably it.